This is Mayo Clinic Talks, a curated weekly podcast for physicians and healthcare providers. I'm your host, Daryl Chetka, a general internist at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. Education is the cornerstone to introducing new medical concepts. But how do you educate all the individuals who need it? Not only practicing clinicians, but researchers, medical students, and perhaps most importantly, the public. Today, we'll be discussing education in regenerative medicine with Dr. Saranya Wiles, a course director for regenerative medicine and surgery and resident physician in the Department of Dermatology. Saranya, welcome, and thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Dr. Chekha. Great to be here. How do you, I mean, this is, this is an interesting concept because you've got an area of medicine which those in practice really don't know much about. So how do you take a new concept that potentially could revolutionize how we practice medicine and how do you educate the groups that need it? What, and first of all, what groups do you identify as those who need the education? Absolutely. That's um, you know, a really fundamental point of introducing new curriculum into um, standard traditional medical learning um, has been a challenge, but also very um, exciting in, in our new way of thinking, in our new futuristic um, plans towards medicine as it also advances. So it's been really um, a, a, a new a welcome challenge really to uh, introduce these principles and to really think back, uh, you know, I'd like to start off with defining regenerative medicine and to, so that we can understand why it's important to introduce it in traditional medical curriculum. Mm -hmm. um, and to define regenerative medicine, we really have to think about aging and chronic disease. So as we age and with chronic diseases, our potential to heal our bodies within itself, um, the innate or natural healing response slows down. Um, and the concept of regenerative medicine has existed for years. It's dated back to the time with the, the Greek gods uh, when Prometheus had his liver regenerate um, over and over by Zeus's eagle. So um, the concept of regeneration has captivated humans. So it's the idea of how do we harness that regenerative potential that we hold uh, into addressing ways to, and new ways to restore form and function um, and that's the concept that we want to bring forward with aging and chronic disease. And as that slows down, how do we reintroduce that? So that's really where the idea of regenerative medicine came forward. Um, we were very excited about it spanning across various medical and surgical specialties. So in regards to your question about the groups that need to be educated, um, it's, it's really broad. We want to educate our healthcare providers, and that um, includes our medical students, our residents longitudinally, longitudinally across medical training, but also our graduate students, the basic scientists that are performing all of these discoveries in the lab. But it also involves our healthcare delivery workers. So that includes our nursing team, our social workers, um, our regulatory staff, our ethics staff. So bringing that whole multidisciplinary, interdisciplinary group together will be really important um, in our goal to drive this field forward. 